sp.net uh, today we are going to explore sp.net core proxy and it is very handy when you are considering your microservice endpoint so here in the diagram you can see that we have request and we have middleware proxy api which is responsible to get the response from the corresponding account microservice which is microservice one and the another one is microservice two which is order microservice and we will have a consolidated request and response from the consolidated proxy api so it's very simple uh, we can easily do in dotnet core uh, by using sp.net core proxy uh, let's see uh, we have uh, the specific uh, demo uh, with regard to the specific uh, port so for the proxy we have different ports for account order we have different different ports and now how we are uh, we are just equivalenting the proxy to uh, the different microservice so you can see the URL pattern here. So now uh, I'm going to explore a simple demo. Uh, by looking into it, you can see that how it's not too much difficult. So I just created a app proxy. It's a simple .NET Core 2.2 application. Uh, we just need to run it, and we will see the response in terms of hello world. We do not have to do anything right now with this application. Uh, parallelly, we will be create uh, two different microservice, which would be account and the order. So for this, uh, again, you can see that we have uh, already existing account API, and with the default controller's value, you can get the value like value one, value two. So we will be adding uh, account as suffix here so that we can easily identify which value is coming from which controllers because we are going to use the default value controllers for both account and order API. So I have added account as a prefix here and now you can see we have account value 1 and account value 2. Now again we have to create a different uh, API order and it's already been created now you can see that with the default values again it is coming with prefix order value 1 and value 2 here you can see uh, the route is the same for both of the microservice which is API values and now uh, what we have to do in the proxy we have to add sp.net core HTTP abstraction so it allow us to write some run proxy method extensions in a startup.cs so we can configure it based on our requirements like uh, we have two running microservice for account and order and we will be mapping both routing to here with a map in the ap proxy so yep sp.incore proxy it's here oh this time it doesn't take too much time now you can see very easily it's been added well now uh, going to the startup.cs uh, we can have here uh, the run proxy method with the builder extension and now we just have to map with the port well you can see uh, with the proxy option we can define yep Because right now we have to uh, running microservice uh, as account and order and which is running on localhost so I will be uh, putting here localhost and uh, the port on which both of the microservices is running uh, with the scheme we have defined the protocol
so I have added mapping for the count API like the same we will be adding the different mapping here for the order API we just have to modify uh, the port name support value we will be modifying here because we have added the orders and uh, the account as the prefix uh, with the route so again in the account and the order api we will be adding account and order so for the order i have added order and now for the account just verifying that with the order api and controllers so api value is not coming here and now what we will do we will add order as the route root here so you can see that order value 1 and value 2 is coming here now same we will be adding with the account ABI we just matches the specific route to the proxy endpoint so we have now three applications running inside my computer one is proxies second is account api and the third one is order api so account api is here with the coming order prefix value now the order api is here which is a second microservice which we have developed in sp.net port 2.2 and now you can see that for the order we have different port and for the account we have the different port now we just run the proxy and because we have the mapping for both of the microservice here so now with the order route we can have the controller accessing from proxy and we are getting order So the account API is here. Here the account API is giving us account value one and the order API is giving us order value one. Now we are trying to open the first given URL in the proxy and you can see the account value is coming here. So the port for the proxy is remain same. We just changing the route as account and the order and automatically the value is coming from two different microservices. This is very practical and genuine scenario uh, which, uh, which uh, is required by most of the organizations while they are consolidating their endpoints of the different microservices. So we just added the breakpoint and now we will see so by calling the proxy we are here in the debug mode of account 